what is going on YouTube and welcome to my YouTube channel my name is mr. mom and welcome now if you guys like any of this content here's please be sure to check out my live stream over on twitch mr. mom live I play Eve online and other games as well so today we're gonna be talking about the Ishtar the Ishtar is a quite honestly a amazing ship that I honestly I kind of forgot about and I don't know if that's just because of updates or whatever the case may be but it's just an amazing all-rounded ship that I didn't really think about until I was given a fit from my Corp and Null. I tried it out I looked at it and well the price was amazing now I know you're thinking well you can't make that much from an Ishtar compared to like a carrier or even occasional dread and there you may be right but also a carrier can cost you up to four billion and a dread well it probably even more but the Ishtar surprisingly only cost 200 mil and it does everything you need for 200 mil with 60 mil ticks or 60 mil every hour that is pretty good especially the fact that all you have to do is well lock the frigates kill them first and don't be warp scrammed just in case enemies come in and it's just smooth sailing from there now you're probably thinking like okay but what about the cap and you know DPS I mean if surely you're sacrificing something with it and that's what I thought but with this fit you're not sacrificing anything like that in fact it's a very high DPS little guy the DPS on this thing hits around 700 DPS and it uses five drones now the old school EVE Online player thinks centuries but with this just run your faction needed type drones or even grab some mutated drones for even more DPS and as you can see I'm running wasp 2 because that is what I need for this area and I'm only missing the spec 5 and Kaldari drones I 5% and you can calculate that into the fit if you want to see what the max drone skills would look like for something like this it is in fact cap stable with resists and the drones kind of do the work everything is self automated past the frigates you bring an MTU drop it down and well rat until your heart it desires now you do have to be careful with your rats so far the sanctum zero rats have even gone after my drones maybe just a sanctum thing havens they're not exactly loved over there but you just kind of recall them a few times and then you'll be good to go to finish the site so is the 200 mil going to be good for getting more money in your pocket to maybe buy a carrier I would definitely say the Ishtar is a great isk grabber if you have people in your area and maybe you're kind of new to an area or you're just kind of like oh man I don't want to get caught in a carrier you know because we are at war or whatever the case may be I think that Ishtar is a great competitor because as we all know that carriers are slow you have an enemy come in and you don't have a subcap fleet well you can almost nine out of ten times say goodbye or that guy's just going there for PI and he's gonna leave you alone who knows there are some players who are just not that smart but more than likely you're gonna get hot dropped and you can say goodbye to your carrier unless you have a very secure place or a subcap fleet on standby but regardless of that an Ishtar is a great thing to just keep into your Fortizar or whatever the case may be just in case you do lose your carrier due to connection issues or you know you took it out to PvP because you got you know had one too many that night whatever the case may be the Ishtar can make about 60 mil each hour so here's the fit guys I really hope you guys 
enjoy this kind of video. And like I said, if you guys do, be sure to ch go check out my Twitch, Mr. Mom Live over on Twitch. Hit me a follow. Come hang out. You know, we're doing some pretty cool stuff over there, and I would love to see you guys there. So we have Tech 2, Kinetic Enforcers, EM Enforcer, and Auto Target System 1, Large Capacity Tech 1, Extra Large Shield Booster Tech 1, Multi Shield Hardener Tech 2, Shield Amplifier Tech 2, and 1, 2, 3, Capacitor Flux Coil Tech 2, Drone Damage Amplifier and your drones of choice. As you can see, 198 mil. And we do about 693 DPS. And it reaches out to about 72 kilometers. That's not bad. If you guys ask me, that's cheaper than a Gila. It gets better per hour than a Gila. In fact, it's a competitor next to the Rattlesnake. Now, that's a different video, and that's a lot more a little clickety-click. And it, Rattlesnakes are mostly sentries, so that's a whole other kind of video. As soon as my Rattlesnake comes down here, we will be talking about the Rattlesnake. Um, and so there you go. We just finished the Sanctum. We didn't even lose a drone. And that's it. It's pretty much that simple. Just make sure that you target the frigs, take or whatever your area E-War is, Get rid of E-War, obviously, and anything that can get under your guns, if you have any, or just anything that can get close to you and disrupt anything that you're trying to do. Just take those out and let the, well, let the drones do the rest. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you guys want to see any kind of, like, you know, the best kind of per hour I can get, we could probably get something like that together on the live stream. But I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of our ticks. We got about 12 million here, 10 million here. And, well, I was kind of messing around earlier. And that right there is the rattlesnake we are going to be doing a video on. So you can see right here, with pushing it to the limit, you can look about 12 hours. And that's from clean sight after, with no interruptions, from just jumping, 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 jumping. And you could probably get about 12 million per tick, if not even higher. But all right, guys, with all that said, be sure to subscribe, like, and share the video. And if you guys want to see any kind of weird, wonky builds, definitely let me know. We're going to kind of go over the basic builds of ratting a null and other kind of just ships in general. We will be having some PvP. PvP coming up soon. Uh, maybe I'll record a really big fight that we do or just go on a really big fleet and go hunting. Uh, whatever the case may be, um, there will be a lot more content coming out. And I hopefully, hopefully all of you guys enjoy um, this video. I'm also trying to get together the Armageddon drone boat because, yes, that is a thing. Yes, it's amazing. And no, you do not want to miss that video. So hit that bell for notifications when we do upload more videos so without further ado guys that is my time be sure to check me over at on twitch mr mom live hit me a follow come hang out have some fun and uh, maybe you guys can share me some of your wonky fits or really good fits that don't cost more than four billion because well you shouldn't have to pay that much to have a great time and make a lot of isk you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time Peace.